what technological advances would be needed to prevent our sun from expanding? And how close are we to obtaining that technology? All right, there is a way to prolong the life of a star. And if we were ever to do that for the sun, because our civilization would somehow outlive the life expectancy of most mammals. <laughs> the mammal life expectancy is about three million years, okay. and on average, and we're a mammal, so right. unless we figure out a way to beat those odds, we're, we're toast for one reason or another after, on average, three million years. That's why I love talking to you. You're always so uplifting. <laughs> the sun's got another five billion years left, so we'd have to prolong our lives until the sun is ready to die and then prolong the life of the sun. So one way to do that is it's got hydrogen in the center, converting it to helium. Right. That's the thermonuclear fusion. There's a lot of hydrogen in the outer layers that never makes it to the center. So when the sun runs out of helium, it only runs out of helium in the center. And so what you need is a way to channel helium from the outer layers deep down into the center to give it fresh supply. You do that, the sun could live 100 billion years. Oh my god. No question about it. So you would basically just have to funnel helium back to the center. No, no, I'm sorry, did I say helium? I meant hydrogen. Oh, hydrogen. Yeah, hydrogen in the outer layers. Okay. Because it's converting hydrogen into helium. The, the, all these outer layers, you bring it back in, you prolong the life of the sun. Uh, uh, just that before the break, we talked about prolonging the life of the sun. Right. And all you have to do is churn fresh fuel which lives in the outer layers down into the center. Right. And we know this works because there are stars that collide with one another, and when you collide, you, you mix your materials. And stars have a fresh birth, um, simply because all the helium that it collected in the center as, as, as leftover uh, byproduct right. all gets mixed back into the star and fresh hydrogen shows up in the middle. And, that's how, and then you have a new, new life to the star. Now, it just seems to me if we have the power to prolong the life of the sun by churning its contents, we have the power to just move to another damn solar system. Probably. <laughs> yeah. We can do that. Move to Mars or to Jupiter's moons, you know? Right. I mean, so there might be other options available than messing with the sun. But... Like making the Earth a spaceship and just actually leaving. Yeah, keep the whole Earth intact. Right. I hadn't thought and about that. And just take it someplace else. Cool. I mean, hey, if we can manipulate the sun, we can do that, right? You can be do that, but you need an energy source en route. Gotcha. So you got to, like, get cozy until you get to another... Uh, uh, solar system. True right? that. I don't think that far ahead of me. <laughs>